supporter of the 1927, I believe, Immigration Act, which essentially was to, as far as this point, the goal of it was to shut down immigration from everywhere but Europe, was to say we don't even want Southern Europeans. They didn't even want Italians. They certainly didn't want Asians. They certainly didn't want Africans, North Africans, etc. The idea was to whiten immigration. And of course, it was Reagan who did the opposite. Three million people given open amnesty by Ronald Reagan. And those people were, were, were largely non-white. They were largely uh, Mexican migrants. So, so how do you square a party where Ronald Reagan did amnesty, where George Herbert Walker Bush was very open about saying we welcome immigration, we want immigrants, and where George W. Bush said the same and even made positive noises about Muslim and Arab immigration to this? Well, I think the fact of the matter is that that Republican Party of the past has gotten joy. I mean, that's the bottom line. Uh, what it is today is a complete fear-mongering, anti-immigrant sentiment. And you, know, you mentioned Jeff Sessions. That brought back a lot of memories of the immigration meetings I was in. I spent all four years of the Trump administration working the immigration portfolio, and we could spend hours talking about the things that I witnessed and the things that were said. And it wasn't Jeff Sessions, I'll be very clear, because just remember Stephen Miller was a big proponent of all these things. And so when I hear actually Donald Trump speaking the way he is this week, the way he has in the past couple of weeks, he actually sounds like Stephen Miller did in actual immigrant immigration policy meetings at the very highest levels. I'm talking about cabinet meeting story, where traditionally you would not hear this type of language being spoken, but this is how he would speak. He would talk in this manner and he would engage fear because that's the only thing he had, right? And then he would push these extreme policies. And so I think in the contrast here, when we're looking at this and the Republican party of today under Donald Trump, which breaks my heart, right? As a lifelong Republican and as a daughter of a Mexican immigrant who believed in the Republican party in the past, watching what is happening here is so just detrimental to who we are as a country. And it's also dangerous as we're seeing with all the threats we're seeing throughout the country when they push these messages out.